The internet has changed the world, empowering individuals and organizations, allowing us to work together as we move forward. Today, people are asking, what will the internet look like in 10 years? You're an employee of International Widgets, selling digital software and media all over the world, mostly online. As technological, political and economic motivations compete to shape the future of the internet, your company and personal life also come to a turning point. Let's see what happens in one of your possible futures. Here you are in 10 years. You've taken a promotion to be the media manager for International Widget Specific Operations, providing local news content to viewers outside your region. Not only does this mean more responsibility, it means moving to a new place. Everything's going well until the internet we know and love changes into something we call the moats and drawbridges scenario. Networks become centralized, nationalized, regulated and controlled. The global open internet is replaced by many separate, not very well connected collections of networks, each walled off and closely monitored. Your business can't reach its audiences because large corporations lean on governments to create policies that restrict access to non-national content and allow for cultural censorship. Even worse, persisting fears about cybersecurity make distributors unwilling to connect to your network. But it's not just your company that's cut off. You are too. Not only can you not show off your work to friends back home, you can't access any of your favorite websites. With the internet controlled by the corporations, you're forced to cut a deal that sells the exclusive distribution rights for your content to the biggest media distributor servicing other regions. They don't buy your platform and they don't understand the cultural differences. All they know is the bottom line, what sells and what doesn't. You're trapped at work and at home, locked in a virtual castle. While you're struggling to find a way to survive, the distributors in other regions flood your content back into your market. Now approved, because the content is hosted on corporate servers. The newsmakers you once worked with are now forced to deal with the large corporations, making them lose creative control, while also letting the corporations decide who watches what, where and for how much. Eventually you give up and move home, hoping there's still a place for you in the company there. We need you to help shape tomorrow's internet. We're working to keep the internet free and open, for you and with you. Act now to protect the internet's future. Find out what you can do at internetsociety.org.